Hey guys, Mike Cricket, 113, how you doing? Uh, sorry about the glare. I don't think I could do much about that. Maybe, there we go. A little angle will do, I guess. Anyway, this is the Nano V&A that I uh, picked up a while ago in the wintertime. And right now, uh, looks like, let's see if I can get this on another frequency. Man, my eyes are shit right now. I gotta get readers, man. It's, it's getting that point in my life. Anyway, the, uh, the little yellow arrow down the left corner there is on uh, 462-600. That's going to be channel 17 on GMRS. GMRS channel 17 is 462.600 uh, megahertz. Uh, the reason why I have the uh, Nano VNA on, right now it's just laying on the ground. I know that's probably the worst place to have it. But uh, in the yellow at the top, top left, you see there on the second block over... Uh, it says 1.25. That's the SWR on this quarter wave ground plane that I uh, I built a while ago uh, for GMRS specifically. And I kind of tuned it for uh, channel 15 through 22 on GMRS only because that's where the repeaters are. And also, uh, well, it's the high power area for, uh, for uh, you know, frequencies uh you know for talking and whatnot so anyway also in the green there's that little smiley thing with the one on it uh and then if you look at the information over to the right it says 51.5 ohms uh which is if i take it off the carpet here maybe that number will change a little bit yeah i gotta do a little adjusting obviously but we're pretty close to 50 ohms impedance is what you want to match your 50 ohm coax, to match your what your radio likes, 50 ohms, give or take. So I have to adjust the uh, <clears throat> I have to adjust the uh, the radials on the antenna, and I'll show you that antenna real quick. It's just a quarter wave. Don't mind the mess in here, guys. I got wires everywhere and a fan. It's a little hot up in the shack, but this is just a quarter wave uh, antenna. I gotta zoom that zoom that out a little bit. There we go. So yeah, obviously I gotta lower these radials down a little bit. The happy number's like 42 to 45 degrees. But uh, when I did that, I noticed my impedance went higher. I think it went higher. Higher than uh, 50 ohms. So I flattened them out and then it like was starting to work. So I don't know, we're gonna experiment with this. We're gonna get it up, up a pole or up a tree or something uh locally around here it's light enough and small enough that's what's so great about gmrs uh even quarter wave and quarter wave and i'm using quarter wave only because the area i am in i am in a valley so i kind of need to get up and out so quarter waves antennas are really good for getting out of low-lining areas where you have hills surrounding you or even tall buildings um tall buildings you need to get around up and around uh quarter wave is the way to go uh, if you live in a flat area, like, say, the farmy area of the great state of Ohio, uh, where you can literally see the horizon from your vehicle if you're traveling westbound on the turnpike or Route 80 or whatever, uh, maybe a 5 eighths wave would be good for that, or half wave uh, on GMRS, but, uh, and not so much a quarter wave. You won't get as much distance. But since I live in a uh, building uh, hilly and uh, building, building area, I'm going to use quarter wave uh, for now. We'll experiment, you know. But the other thing I was thinking about, don't mind the wires, uh, was a uh, while, while back in the wintertime, because that's what you do when you're bored in the wintertime, I was messing around with this uh, two-meter uh, uh, antenna. I was going to do it horizontal, or it makes sense now just to do it uh, vertical. Um, and then it was for two meter and it worked pretty well. You know, I was able to get into machines, repeaters and all that. This is just half inch copper wire or copper wire. Jesus, half inch copper pipe, a uh, little bus there and a little connectors and bolts. Uh, so I'm going to cut this back. I just had it on the nano VNA and it was giving me a 2.3 on uh 462, 600. So I'm going to go get a hacksaw and cut off a little bit. First, I'm going to measure to see what the heck I cut this thing to originally. Obviously, it's a little crooked there with the one-inch gap. But, um, yeah, I'm going to cut it back a little bit on each side and then test it on the Nano VNA. 
down there and then do it again and again until I get it down to my happy spot like 1.5 will be great you know if I can get it on 1.5 uh, from channel 15 to 22 I'll be happy uh, I realize the offsets are uh, for the repeaters are 467 so I'll test it there as well uh, depending on what frequency we're going to use so anyway I uh, just wanted to check that out and show you that um, that's what we're working on today uh, it's also garden season, so uh, I'm sure you'll, you'll, I know you're probably, maybe you're into it, maybe you're not, but the, you know, uh, the videos on YouTube go everywhere, so I'm going to be making some quick gardening videos and tips and things like that, and uh, messing around with antennas. So this is my Cricut 113 with the Nano v &A, uh with making some homebrew uh, GMRS uh, antennas. All right, guys, happy weekend. Take care of yourself. And keep playing with those radios. Bye-bye.